Wake up, wake up, wake up! It's our first day at our new school, Angie. You have to wake up. Come on, get up. Please. Go away. Come on, Angel. It's 5 a.m. It's time to wake up. School doesn't start for another three hours, Angel. Go back to sleep. But we have to get ready now, and I need your opinion on my outfit. I have to look good for my first day of school. Go get ready, and I'll give you my opinion when I wake up. Now leave me alone! Ugh, fine, I'll just brush my teeth and stuff. Angie, come on, it's 6.15, time to wake up. No. You can't sleep all morning, we're gonna be late for school. Angel, we live a block away from the school. It takes less than five minutes to walk there. But Angie, turn off the lights. Angie, I have to get dressed and I need your opinions. Go away! <sighs> Oh, Angie, what? I made breakfast. There's bacon. Bacon! <laughs> I thought that would get you up. <laughs> Go shower, I'm gonna clean up, okay? Why not just leave it for Persephone? You know how offended she gets when we eat bacon. Oh, right. Uh, I'll go shower. You clean the dishes. Hey Angie, what do you think of this outfit? a bit overdone, don't you think? Oh, uh, yeah, let me go change. How about this? The hat and scarf don't match. <laughs> yeah, you're right, how silly of me. How about this? Angel, why are you so worried about your outfit? Well, I want to look good, and I want people to like me, and oh, what if they don't like us? What if they think we're weird, or what if they think we're ugly, or what if they think we're out of style, or, or what if they think we're their aliens? What if? Angel, relax. There are plenty of pets in this school. We'll make friends. But what if? We always have each other. Now don't worry. I've got your back. Now let's see. Hmm. Here, try to go more subtle. You don't want to overdress. But what if people think I'm underdressed? 
You're fine the way you are, Angel. Now let me get dressed. Ooh, Angie, okay, what about the frill skirt? I could wear mine too, and we can- Angel! All right, looks like I'm ready to go. Okay, and it's 7.30. What if we get lost on our way to homeroom? Lost for half an hour? Cat! Oh, we've missed you so much. <laughs> I missed you too, Cupcake. I can't wait to tell you about my summer. I'm sorry I missed you and your cute goggles, doggy paddling around all summer. Oh, I understand, Cat. Your family vacation is more important than spending your summer with your girlfriend. <laughs> You're so sweet. One minute. Who on earth could be more important than your girlfriend that you haven't seen in two months? <laughs> No one, sweetie. It was my mom. She wanted to know if I got to school all right. Oh yeah, I forgot she makes you walk to school. Yeah, and ever since we moved into that neighborhood with all those mice, she's been even more nervous about letting me walk to school alone. I wish I could walk with you. Why don't you take the bus? The nearest bus stop is about a 20 minute walk from my house, and it only takes about 30 minutes to walk here. I as well walk the whole way. Hmm, I keep forgetting you moved. I'm not familiar with your new area. <laughs> yeah, I'm not so familiar with it either. I try to stay inside. Hmm. Well, why don't you come over after school? My dad can drive you home later. Oh, I'm sorry. I have a dentist appointment. Oh, uh, how are you getting there? My mom's going to take the bus with me. I thought you said there were no buses near you. Yeah, none that go towards school. But there are some nearby that go elsewhere. It must suck not having a car. You get used to it. As soon as I get a car of my own, I'll drive you around everywhere, and you don't need to worry. You're so cute, Cupcake. Um, is this the right room? I think so. Oh, hi girls. You're the new transfer students, right? Yeah. Okay, well you can take a seat wherever you'd like. Okay, looks like you're all here now. My name is Miss Emeralds, and I will be your homeroom teacher. Homeroom is just for attendance purposes. If you do not show up, you will be marked absent for the day. I have all your schedules here. Now have fun and socialize. Whatever you feel like doing, we all know that homeroom is essentially pointless. Uh, hi. Oh, hi. My name's Kitsune. I'm Angie, and this is my sister Angel. <laughs> Angel and Angie. That's cute. <laughs> you think so? Totally. Hey, you want to hang out after school? We can grab some coffee or something. Sounds cool. We just moved here though, so maybe you could show us around? Sure. That'd be fun. Um... So are you coming to my house after school today? Oh, I can't today. I'm sorry. I have to babysit my little sister. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe another night. Hi, are you new here? Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm Hannah. I'm Nick. Oh, my name's Angel. Is that your sister over there? Yeah, her name's Angie. We're twins. <laughs> I can tell. Did you guys just move here? Yeah, we just moved here from California. Whoa, you mean where Holly Wolf is? Why would you ever want to leave? Well, my mom got offered a really good voice acting job for a video game company here. Wow, that sounds really cool. Do you like video games? I love video games. Cool! Do you want to hang out after school and we could go to the game lounge? I could take you around town and you can meet my friends and stuff. Wow, that's really nice of you. Thanks, I'd love to. Oh, uh, uh... Have fun, Angel. I have Kitsune to hang out with. Okay.
Oh, you must be my new locker mate. <laughs> yeah, I'm Angie, by the way. <laughs> okay. What's her problem? Oh, I told you that people wouldn't like us. She probably thinks we're weirdos, or that I'm overdressed. Angel, we had two different people ask us to hang out after school. One unfriendly cat doesn't mean anything. Oh, um, that's my locker. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Hey, I don't recognize you two. Are you new here? Yeah, we just moved here from California. That's cool. My name is Sage. Yeah, my mom said I looked exactly like Sage Bond, the big Hollywood star from that popular show. So she named me after him. Oh my god, that's my favorite show. Well, besides The Walking Dog. Gosh, The Walking Dog is so cool. Daryl is my favorite. He's everyone's favorite. You can't forget about Rick, though. And Lori and Carl. I hate Shane. Oh my dog, he's such a jerk. <sighs> Here we go again. Maybe if you watched it, you'd understand. You don't watch The Walking Dog? What do you do with your life? Why do they call it the walking dog? Aren't there cats in it? Uh, no. The whole show is about how cats become infected with the disease and they come back to life from the dead and eat dogs. You should really start watching it. We're gonna be late for class if we keep this up, Angel. And we don't even know where to go. Oh, I can help you guys get to your class. What do you have? Uh, English with Miss Piscopo. Ugh, me too. I hate Miss Piscopo. Why? She's so mean to everyone. Nobody likes her. She's so annoying. Oh, great. All right, everyone, take a seat. Class is about to start. Hey, look at the new kids. Oh, are they twins? I've never seen them before. They must have moved here recently. Oh, people are talking about us already. Oh, Angel, you're so sensitive. Come on. It's not like they're saying anything bad. But what if they are? What if they don't like us? Ladies, take a seat. Huh. Now, can you please describe him? He was, he was a beagle. He was brown, like a light caramel brown. He... It's all right, miss. Take your time. <laughs> he had green eyes. And wore a thick green collar. Now, is there anything else you can tell us about him? Any distinguishing features, like tattoos or piercings, spots or stripes? No, his whole body was brown. His ears, tail, face, everything was just light brown. Okay. Thank you, miss. You were a great help. We'll do our best to catch him. Thank you. Um, I think we have lunch now. Cool. I have lunch now, too. You can sit with me and my friends. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, we don't really have anyone else to sit with. I figured. Come on. No, but then she was like, no way. No, dude, I love you. <laughs> really? I can't believe she said that. You have got to be kidding me. Oh my god, this is your lunch room? Well, yeah, there's over 4,000 students in the school. Oh, goodness. Alright, well, over here we have the wannabes. 
over here we have the Poodle Posse. They're pretty mean. Lydia's kind of their leader. She's the meanest and brattiest of them all. And they're really homophobic. It's not cool. They're always trying to get with the guys at the quote quote jock table, which is kind of funny because half of them are dating each other. Here's the tattoo gals, if that's what you want to call them. They're all pretty nice, and they're really into tattoos. That's all there is to say about them. They're pretty rad. We have the popular girls and guys. They're the prettiest and most fashionable kids at school. Everybody wants to be them. Everybody wants to be friends with them. They're all pretty, they're all really nice, and they're all awesome. And I think they're all pretty rich. They can afford all the stuff that they have. That's Natalie over there. She's their leader. It would take me forever to go through a hole. And that one's Sume Wolf. Rumor has it that he's the hottest guy in the school. Wannabes pretty much want to be them. And then there's us. The, uh, normal people? There are so many pets in such a small area. Yeah, there's way more here than at our old school. We made a much bigger cafeteria. We went to a private school, so that's to be expected. But just, there's so many pets here. You do realize that there's five different lunch periods, right? You mean that this isn't the whole school? Dogma! Yo, Sage! Come on! Oh, hey, Sage. I see you met Angel. Hey, hi, Nick. Oh, do you know each other? Yeah, we have homeroom together. Cool, where's Hannah? Oh, she doesn't have this lunch period. Lame. Hey, guys, let's go get lunch. Okay. <laughs> what? Angel's pretty cute. What is that supposed to mean? I might need to spend more time getting to know her. <laughs> so then, I was like, no. And he was like, oh yeah, oh my god. And I was like, hey, Angelina, who's that basset hound over by Nino? Oh, that's Meryl. She's really nice. She's in my English class. Hmm, that might be a problem. What? Oh, nothing. Tiara! Yeah? Come get lunch with me. Okay. Now, Tiara, I want you to get the messiest food that you can think of. Chocolate or cake. And I want you to trip and pretend to spill it all over her. Cool, no problem. Do you want anything? No, they're solid at the table. Oh, dog. And then he was like, stuff, Lori. And thanks. <laughs> 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 oh, dog. I really need to start watching that. You really do. It's amazing. We should watch it together. Totally. What's your number? We can watch it after school. It's... Whoops. Oh my dog, Meryl. I am so sorry. Uh. <laughs> 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 Bam. Haha, uh -huh, look everyone. The fat basset missed her mouth. <laughs> 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 oh, the fatty pudge is gonna cry. What a puppy. <laughs> oh my dog, Diane, what the hell is wrong with you? The little chubster got too excited over her food. She dropped it all over herself. What a gluttonous pig. <laughs> My dog, what the heck is their problem? What? Why do they have to be so mean and make fun of everyone? I should
sure I don't want to be friends with them. Who are they? They're called the Pula Posse. What? They're a bunch of mean, stupid model poodles. Cynthia's kind of their leader. They kind of think they're better than everyone else. Wow, she's really pretty. Oh yeah, Charlotte? She's gorgeous. She won dogs next to that model. Whoa, seriously? I haven't seen the newest season. <laughs> What'd you trip on? Your own fur? You have plenty more fur to trip on than Lexi. Look at all the extra fat and fur that you have. Much more than the average cat, sweetie. Ugh, I'm a Persian. All Persians look like me. Exactly. Your pompous attitude is almost as big as your thunder thighs. But nothing could quite be as big as that. Lexi is so skinny and delicate. She probably tripped all over your obnoxious shedding fur. You're so... Really, Trixie? Go groom yourself. Really, Trixie? Your fur is littered across the school. Maybe you wouldn't shed so much if you bathed more often like me and her do. <laughs> Thank you, Charlotte. Nobody makes fun of my baby sister and gets away with it. Hi, Charlotte. Oh, hello. Who are you? My name's Angie. I'm new here. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. This is my sister, Lexi. Hi. Hi. Well, I suppose we'll be seeing you around, sweetheart. Why the hell were you talking to her? Uh, why not? She's one of those nasty poodles. No, she's not. She just tore that cat apart. She was making fun of her sister. That doesn't justify being a jerk. Well, she was being a jerk first. She didn't need to insult her weight. Yeah, and that cat didn't need to make fun of her sister. I have to go to class. <sighs> Come on, Angel, before we're late. Oh, hi, Persephone. Hello, Miss Foxstar. How were the girls? Did they get to school all right? Ah, yes, I got here shortly after they left to clean up. They left quite the mess in the bathroom. Oh, thank you. They didn't text you to tell you they got to school all right? Oh, uh, I guess. I haven't checked my phone. So how'd it go with the police? I gave them all the information I can. It's all right, miss. I don't know if they'll catch him. They will. He won't get away with this. He already has. Now, don't you go on thinking like that, Miss Foxstar. Have you considered maybe going to a support group? What good would that do? Now, Miss, I don't mean to pry, but I believe it would be in your best interest to seek therapy. I don't need therapy. I'm fine. <laughs> 